Okay, so you should have your Earth as an Egg student guide in front of you, and we are going to use that and use this hard-boiled egg to demonstrate the different parts of this activity. So first, you're going to kind of look at the outside of the egg and then tap it lightly on the sides until we can see that it has a few cracks. So we'll tap it gently, and we'll look. And then notice we have a few cracks in the surface. So at this point, what you're going to do is we're going to try to move parts of the crack shell to make a few of the pieces collide into one another. So if we try to push, try to make them collide, and think about in your sheet what this represents in terms of the earth. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to try to press one of those pieces into the egg, like into that second layer. Think about what that second layer might be. And we're going to try to force pieces of the egg up to the top by pushing in some of the top parts. And again, think about what this could represent on our earth. Okay, now we're going to take the knife and we're going to cut it in half and take a look at the inside of the egg. And my lovely assistant is going to do that. <laughs> okay, now let's take a look at the inside. A bit mangled. Okay, now looking at the inside of the egg and looking at your sheet that you have in front of you, look at number one where it says what part of the earth did the eggshell represent? If we turn around, remember that's that thin layer on the outside? And what you should be thinking at this point is that it does represent the crust. If we look at number two, the white part, part of the part that we were pushing up, if we think about what that represents, you can start to maybe think and put it in the text box. Now, that would represent the mantle. And then the insides, this is a little bit tricky because we don't have kind of the inner and the outer to represent here, um, but we get the idea here. But the inside yellow part is going to represent the core. So the yolk of our egg represents the core. And for number four, if we think about that action where we were kind of colliding the parts of the shell and thinking about what that could represent, that actually could represent, what do you think? The shell's colliding, what does that represent? Yeah, she said an earthquake. <laughs> an earthquake. And the next part when we dug the parts of the crust or the shell into the mantle, what might that represent? Volcano. A volcano. Good job. So that was number four and five on your earth as an egg activity. You certainly are more than welcome to do this activity on your own, but I wanted to at least have a demonstration so that you can see it from our end. Have a great day.